you guys are all dressed up in whatever your standard outfit is for you know wandering around in and such and you're in the embassy in that room that often the pcs start off in with the chairs the three chairs gathered around the table couple of interesting things have happened with it though it looks like one of the walls is completely missing and there's big braces that are keeping the ceiling there and there's some guy laying bricks there's uh four guards sitting around gambling off in the same room and they're all like looking over at you guys like hmm. yeah, he's not there and um also on the table in the center of you guys in addition to various decanters of uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and uh, tea service and little the snacky cake things that people eat in fancy places because with the exception of the working dust which is raining down on the food now <laughs> and it looks like it has been for a while there's also um, a hand-drawn map a uh, uh, letter and a compass. A hand-drawn map, a letter, and a compass. This is on the table. Correct. And we're sitting around the table. Yes, you guys are all all have like lights amount light amounts of plaster dust that are slowly beginning to form on you, and the workmen are <laughs> looking over concerned. Like one of them goes. And uh, so one of the walls is missing. It looks like it's, it's been up by pillars. It looks like it's been ripped out by a couple of very angry people with sledgehammers and a lot of motivation and no skill. I mean, there's like some wild misses here and there. It's like must tear out wall mm. and missed the spot. Yeah, well, the the workmen here are currently working on like smoothing it out and building a new wall and keeping the roof supported and everything and they're looking at you guys like ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> don't know if you want to stay there for your meeting I, uh, gentlemen <laughs> stand up and uh, have a little stretch the workmen are like uh, the <laughs> We should have it stabilized, but uh, you might want to find a different room for your meeting. I don't know where you came from, says one of them. One of the guards is like, they just do that from time to time. These are part of the immortal guys who here and gone and here and gone. And they go, oh. One, one of the workmen goes, do you think I can get an autograph? Shut the fuck up, Fred. <laughs> is that today, Jack? Do we have a meeting? Uh, look at the watch that's not there. I don't even know where I'm at. Looks <laughs> like we're following oh, the trail this, of Fernie uh, again. Is this where the painting was? That's right. Yeah, I read about that. <laughs> See? Reading reading is paying off already, yeah? <laughs> yeah, they took it away after they ripped out the uh, wall. They were really angry at the wall says one of the guards all right all that all that stuff on the table is yours i think it's whoever it, it was left I, for uh, whoever i look at the letter who's addressed addressed to uh here is the letter Bing. oh boy oh boy cursive yes it's an old forgotten old people skill thing <laughs> He just raises an eyebrow. Look, old people wrote this. I hear an alarm going off somewhere. Is that it's, me or? it's you. It's me. I'll be right back. Oh. Run, Luke, run. Signed by Hornsby, but we'll read it somewhere else. I'm going to have to really stare at this thing for a little bit. You can also uh, increase and decrease the size of the Roll20 thing with the plus yeah, and minus. Yeah, I increased it, but I'm still going to have to move things around hmm. to the overlords. <laughs> That's how it's addressed. All right, look around. Is there any booze in this room? Plenty. 
All right, let's pour us a couple drinks and head off to a less dusty room, Jack. I just take the decanter and go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, you find some glasses that are like less dusty and grab those in, uh, <laughs> if you want. I'll grab one for me and Vince. Clearly, he's going to grab a drink out of the bottle. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you guys, you guys, uh, um, the it's less crowded in the. Um, embassy than normal it looks like about two-thirds of the population seems to be missing the guys that are still here are the second they're the kids of the doras uh but they're like mostly uh, vince's real life age up to about 20 or so because for some reason kids tend to grow really fast unfortunately they don't, uh, their brain doesn't get smarter as fast. So you might have like a fucking 18 year old guy with like a nine year old brain or whatever. And then it has to catch up as you go. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Card. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> do some quick math. I'm start thinking of this, the various supply lines and projects I have people working on. I'm thinking, could that be the reason why so many are gone or? It's Does that possible. account for that many people? Or? Not that many people. Well, I'm sure you'll find, figure it out soon, but um, which in the embassy itself is uh, the rooms are mostly taken, but uh, do you guys know about the explosion room? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that like the alternate uh, meeting room? The alternate meeting room. Yep. You guys head out there. It's a really sturdy round stone tower with no windows, one very sturdy door, and a weak roof. It's made so if you blow, and it has simple, furniture, simple, easy to make furniture in it. So if you blow it up, then they're supposed to go straight up and shower everybody with fragments of the roof later. Nice. Yeah, it's not nearly as comfortable, but this roof probably won't collapse on you. So, because you know, Beastkin builders. All right, so we go in there. Let's have a look at the letter. This is from Hornsby. And it comes see. with a map and a compass. A map and a compass. So mm -hmm. let's see. If anybody wants to uh, read this difficult to read letter out loud, I will give them two cards for suffering through this. All right, here's some more cards. I'll, I'll read it here. Okay. About three days from San Angeles and the embassy. Here, let me move it over here so I'm not looking off screen so much. That's a spirit. <clears throat> Look at his professionalism. <laughs> Vince is like, <laughs> 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 About three days from San Angeles and the embassy, the exact location given with a map, I found a cave. It was unusual in that it was regularly formed, not natural. Uh, so I went in and found a large, shallow, hollow cave with... something growing within behind one of the something i don't know what this says buddhas bushes bushes behind one of the bushes i discovered a very narrow tunnel that extended off for about 50 paces before opening into a fairly large room a narrow completely round tunnel extended still further into the darkness before Continuing into that tunnel, I discovered some scary drawings, fucking monsters, and something beholders. Yeah, that sounds nice. On the wall, and a bunch of elvish writing I didn't understand. I didn't get a chance to make a rubbing or anything because. Then a big scary elf ghost appeared and started yelling at me. Well, Hornsby sounds like he's having a great old time. <laughs> I, I, I took the fuck off. Yeah, that's what I told him to do. <laughs> <laughs> this seemed to either 
surprise or irritate it. Not sure, but either way, I was pissed. I started learning stuff sounding like I started hearing stuff sounding like dirt explosions. I am faster and clear. I ran faster and cleared the cave. Rather than just continuing to run away, I went up and over the top and hid since a lot of shit can outrun me. That's true. Bunch of our dead came out of the cave and wandered around confused and then went back into the cave. <clears throat> Not talking. No. No talking, not talking, just elf skeletons. <clears throat> okay, not talking, just elf skeletons after either, but dogs, deer, and bunch of other shit. This cave is close enough to the embassy that I could end up being a big, it could end up being a big threat. I will find someone I will find someone heading towards San Angeles and offer them a dollar to deliver this note to Elwyn. If they say I was, if they, if they say it was more, they are full of shit. Kick them in the nuts. <laughs> I honestly, oh, I Hornsby will continue my search for interesting and profitable stuff. It's the spirit. Thanks for sending me an assistant, Hornsby. Did you send him an assistant? Ah, uh, I didn't. We uh, a couple uh, sessions ago. Don't forget to draw your cards, Jay. Mm-hmm. So you found out also two things about harm to be a little bit more of his personality and that he has really horrible handwriting. My goodness, getting lots of play immediately. Okay, yeah. so here's one. We need to buy him a time to lug across the countryside. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'd love nothing better, I'm sure. They have him here in the Old West. Yeah, that's insane. A typewriter, yeah. Immediately discard all cards which do not give temporary skill percentage bonus. In other words, if it isn't a skill plus five or I can do it card, discard it. Man. Doesn't pay to be helpful. <laughs> Does it, don't you get a uh, like number of cards back in your hand after that or? No. Uh, five and another play immediately. Uh oh, five hero are added to an NPC yes. of the GM's choice. Yes, I've got somebody that's needing those. Okay, so I got it. Okay, so I'm down to zero cards now. Joy, honestly, we kicked you in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Are you done with the note? I am done with the note. <clears throat> okay. Now, is this a sealed note, or does it look like it's been opened, or? It looks like it was just, like, left on the thing. It it, it doesn't look like anybody ever sealed it. Um, possibly was it in an envelope? Huh? Was it in an envelope? Uh, there's no envelope around. So it was just folded up? Yep. Or it was just a piece of paper laying there? It looks like it was folded up but then unfolded and left there. How much dust was on it when uh, we picked it up from the table? Not a horrible big amount. Oh, can I use my evidence analysis to have an idea how long it was laying there? Ooh, Vince died. No. Sure. Well, actually, you don't, you lack. Who can the, say? Probably there for months. Yeah. You, you, you lack a lot of information, like when did they start working on the ceiling, how much dust was falling, the rate of dust fall. I think we should hide the letter, like 
pretend like it slipped and fell under like some piece of furniture, mm -hmm. maybe we'll get to this in about two or three years. Yeah, it's totally up to you guys. You're on a uh, free range. So if you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. <laughs> totally up to you. <clears throat> now, let's hold on to the letter, but. Um... It also comes with. Yeah, a... he didn't mention it. Go ahead, Logan. I was going to say, it comes with a really easy to read map with like uh, directions. And uh, it, it looks like whoever made the map was really good at making maps, like, you know, uh, or at least do it as a living. Um, you know, various little cartographer notes that are handy, like, you know, this and that. So uh, it's it looks as though the map will definitely allow you to, if you so choose, navigate to the cave. Uh, especially when paired with the compass. Of course, you'll still have to make a navigation roll if you ever want to see that fucking cave. So, yeah. Three fumble laters. Well, yeah, if you fumble, you may end up anywhere else because <laughs> I actually have a map of things outside of the city. So, yeah, who knows? All right, good job, Hornsby. It's finding stuff for us to uh, dig into later. I'm really wondering if uh, if he ever noticed any tech with that device you sent him off with. Yeah, he hasn't written about it if he has, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, so let's see. He shows horns we water around. <laughs> <laughs> like in the background overhearing us, those sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All righty here. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do a little shopping and gearing up. So Sounds good. good. So, uh, if you guys need anything from storage here, now's a good chance, and then we'll uh, head off to the bank. Need to grab a few things. Oh yeah, be sure to carefully look at the storage stuff because. <laughs> Things come, things go. Even things that may not be accessible to uh, and everybody, like, may come and go from the embassy storage. Plus, new items are left in there because the PCs have no clue what to do with most of the shit they get. And they just toss it on a fucking big pile and go, I'm a dragon, I'm sleeping on top of it. I think that comes from D&D &D days. Yes, Vince, I blame D&D &D for most of the bad gamer tropes. Well, it's not something you'd do in real life. In real life, if you had stuff, you would... Logan still plays stuff. regularly Monday through Tuesday, thus he cannot game. What? I figure that's why you're playing D and D on Monday and Tuesday, and that's why you didn't GM on those days. No, I I did it so I could prep sometimes. I no, you play D and D. Oh boy! <laughs> yes, look at my paladin. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I still remember that code. What a fucking nightmare that was. Here. Yeah, Ellen, Ellen uh, um, eventually seeks you guys out, knocks on the door. It's me, Ellen, he says. That's how you know it's Ellen. Ah, right you are. Are you decent? <clears throat> oh, yes, we're Ripper. Uh, pardon? Come on in, mate. What's up? <laughs> he comes in and he, he says, Hi, I just wanted to um, let you know uh, if you have any questions about anything. I heard you were in town and you're one of the uh, competent and nice ones and stuff. Plus, I expect you're going to be wanting things to go somewhere, do something. I don't know what. But um, if you need to know anything about what's going on here or whatever, let me know. Yeah, where'd everybody go? 
Oh, a uh, big project in um, uh, Gothic. Uh, it's a feed the masses type project. So they pretty much everybody has gone there. Um, I, I suspect they've got their own side hustle business, but and I asked him, you know, what's Rasslin think about that? And I was told, uh, as long as he gets his cut, he's happy with whatever we do. So I, I figure that's great. And who said that to you? Uh, one of the uh, guys who was working it. Was it uh, the manager over there? Or are you talking about one of the people no. that's doing the hustling? One of the people who's doing the hustling. Yep. Apparently, uh, they they've got money. Or they've got stuff for you at the uh, Golden Waddle mm -hmm. as well. Yep. So keeping those lads busy. Excellent. Um, yeah, and please keep investigating for a new uh, home for everybody and whatnot. Because mm -hmm. uh, if it's any good, I may be joining them because I get along with them well. You know, even though they're kind of diverged a bit from uh you guys if you know what i mean they are kind of a, diverged a bit yeah Can you well, elaborate on that ah uh, he pulls up a chair hmm how would i explain <laughs> it they pour him a drink uh, yeah all right thank you <laughs> he he watches a uh, soy drink out of the bottle and just kind of says, <laughs> <laughs> he says that uh, well um they they they're kind of in it for their clan but where there's overlap they're working for you but they're kind of a clan the immortals as some of the people call them uh meaning you got the adventuring doors there you go the adventuring doors they they're only around like you know once a month or something like that or a couple times a month and they're pretty much seen as capricious gods like kinley kinley is an excellent example you may ask him to defeat a monster he may take your horse fuck your wife and then go kill the monster you, you know good and bad mixed so you may not see your horse or your wife after that <laughs> but the monster would die so you know people aren't super trusting of uh the motivations and whatnot Plus, there are, are a few eggs in the basket, which I'm talking about Freddy. You know I'm talking about Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, just the other day, apparently he painted some sort of evil possessed painting and then hung it up in, or got hung up in the room you guys normally meet in. And their solution was to put a sheet over it and then somebody else and then the sheet went away and then they decided to there was some sort of weird shit going on with it and they ended up destroying the wall and uh, bashing the painting out of it and then they took it away somewhere. I haven't seen do it you know, since. You don't, do you know where they took it? No. No. Who was they that took it? Uh, it, it was uh, Dad and a uh, uh, couple other guys. Dad? The, the ambassador. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, Joshua McKay is uh, Elwin's father. Uh, yeah, adopted so father. Joshua but, uh, he's always and a couple my father of the uh, capricious gods took it off. Well, and Dad, right. Dad, I'm pretty sure that they did something with it. I don't know if it's good or bad or will later kick us in the crotch or whatever. I don't know. Mm. You know, Most capricious. Likely. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> out of the blokes that we were talking about that are over in Gothic. Right. Um, well, not all of them are in Gothic. Apparently, they're getting food from other places, but then they have to repackage it. And stuff like that because you don't want to show up with like brand names on stuff so mm -hmm. there's a big repackaging redistribution thing and plus then they've got people that are uh selling gold in various cities to try to be low-key and so they can get more money for from you know, they got all kinds of shit going on because they have to get the money to buy the food and all that so 
Yeah, there's a lot going on. They are very, very busy. But uh, also, I don't know if you know this, but the people you've got working for you, they rotate out. They're always keeping their people on a rotation once they've learned the job and stuff. And so they can get, every, they're trying to get everybody good at lots of things. Right. Who is their leader? Who is the one orchestrating all of this movement? That would be, hold on, Logan actually has to look up the name now because they actually do have a leader. Please hold. Yeah, he's been their leader forever, too. Well, at least for several years. Hold on. It's thinking. There it goes. And come on, notes. Don't fail me now. NPCs. Ah, uh, Darius and Claire, his wife, Claire. Oh, it is them. Okay. Yeah, I've met them a few times. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I was telling you. Um, they used to run things over in uh, MMO land and uh, Kinleyville. Yeah. They're, they're, they're good people. Uh, very charismatic as well. But, um, yeah, they're, they, they regard you guys, guys I think, my opinion. Because, you know, as... Uh, usually somewhat helpful, but at the end of the day, you know, your your kind of absentee uh, deities of varying good and bad. Now, where are Darius and Claire spending most of their time? Are they still here in the embassy, or no, are they Darius and Claire are, are with with their people? I'm not sure if they are currently in uh, Gothic or if they are currently in uh, St. Louis uh, doing the packaging and stuff. Did he drop? Oh, no. He's doing ah, something. Cool. Chosen with a sword in the background. Capitation. So, yeah. They, they're pretty hands-on because, you know, And uh, what do you think uh, know about Zyke? Um, he's he's one of the uh, hey, he's one of the good ones uh, as far as like uh, competent and whatnot. Uh, I've heard that he's temporarily the manager of the Golden Waddle. Um, I think he used to play uh, back when they were in MMO land and they had weird powers and shit. I think he was. Uh, uh, some sort of rogue or something. It's been a while since their power. Ever since they had to separate themselves from the, that world by going to Burlington so that they stopped getting harvested by that corporation that had them, uh, they lost their special powers and stuff. <laughs> I don't know a hell of a lot about that, but yeah, it, it appeared to really upset them. And, they lost a lot of people. Hundreds of people died from that. Mm. Yeah. But how, how many of them um, came over? How many of them were actually in Kinleyville and actually survived over to come over to the embassy? Uh, about a thousand. About a thousand? Yeah. And the ones that are still here, they won't stop fucking. You see, mm. this is, this is, uh, you know, and unfortunately, they, they've got in like uh, futuristic places like birth control and stuff. But since they're outdoors, if they sleep, then it sometimes goes away because they, they revert to heal up and stuff. And then kids, lots of kids. And then the kids grow quick. And yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's something else that happened is the painting did possess one of the kids, but I think he's OK now. Although uh, he was super traumatized from it, so what's the, what's the kid's name? His name is uh, uh, Bartleby. <laughs> and uh, when did this kid get possessed? A couple days ago. 
<clears throat> and uh, your father knows about this? Yeah, he was. He was. I, I think he was helping uh, chase uh, the kid around when he walked up the uh, side of the embassy. I heard. <laughs> and uh, when he chased them around, did he catch him? Yeah, yeah. They. That's, what did they? Uh, what did they do with him? I, I'm not exactly sure how they got uh, the thing out of the kid and into the painting. I'm not sure how that happened. Huh. Oh. They did. I wasn't around for that. And plus, you guys have access to a lot of weird shit that I don't. So, all right. Well, I'll let him worry about that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when these Doras have children, how long does it take for them to grow up to uh, adulthood? They grow up so fast, he says. Um, sure do. <laughs> uh, a couple of years. A couple of years, okay. Yeah, it's really fast. I'm hoping. How... Mm -hmm. How many generations of them are are there now? Well, I think that the second generation here is starting to work on the third. They're unfortunately beginning to explore their bodies phase, which is really super uncomfortable having to explain uh, sex to a 20 year old. <laughs> not good. This is a boy part. This is a real part. You know, I, I, I'm not really into the, and the worst thing is that, you know, when, when the 20 year old woman comes and asks you about it and you're like, well, you know, I've known you since you were like little and I'm feeling super uncomfortable now. So yeah, I, you know, I really, um, uh, yeah, size. <laughs> Do you know of any other communities of uh, Doras like uh, what you had in Kinleyville? No, I. The only reason I I was able to even visit Kinleyville because I'm not a Dora, and so like Clems doesn't work for me and stuff is oh. because yeah is because um, uh, Firestarter Freddie Firestarter is able to make some sort of doorway using uh, what do you guys call them the Trumps. And then they made it so anybody could go through. And so I went on vacation there and met a lot of people and had so such a nice time. He says, wistfully remembering it. Such so the time. one that uh, Freddie, he made it to where anyone could go through. Mm -hmm. Have you tried um, going through other Trumps and uh, were not able to go through them? Uh, I was told I'm not able to go through them, but I don't have access to any Trumps. Gotcha. So your father hasn't tried taking you through uh, a Trump before? I, uh, I don't. I think uh, I'm remembering back. I think they did try and discovered it didn't work because, well, it's the same reason why the 500 that are here are probably going to end up living here unless somebody makes one of those gates and stuff using them because they can't use Clems either. So the kids of the original thousand are not Doras. Mm, I see. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. I don't know why. But talking to you is always interesting, he says. <laughs> now, as far as new locations for a settlement well we're, we're they're still holding out for a good zone or realm or whatever where it isn't constantly going into the jack boot mm. yeah i don't know if that's possible with this group of people i don't know i don't know but and yeah, you know, they haven't liked anything that anybody's found so far because they were like, oh, look, an area where aliens have taken a lot of people and the only people left are living in this desert wasteland and driving around in improbable cars and killing each other for gas. <sighs> and they were like, no, then the, the overlords were like, this is really good. You should definitely check. And they were like, no, no, no. And so they stay here. That's the kind of places that the overlords have been offering them. And they're less than uh, excited. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, right. And um, just to make sure, um, Elwyn, you said you're unable to use a cleanse? Right. Because you're not technically uh, Dora? Right. Which I don't know what makes somebody a Dora or doesn't make somebody a Dora or can somebody who's not a Dora become a Dora? I don't know. On the other hand, on the other hand, uh, elves are really, really like you guys don't give a shit if I'm an elf, but a lot of people that's pretty much grounds for a good killing right there. Now, Logan, looking at him, I forget if I've asked this before because he looks like an elf. You go um, and check him out. He's like <clears throat> blushes. Other than the ears, does he look unhuman? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It, it's it's not just a matter of hide the ears. Uh, they, they have a little bit different bone structure, uh, lighter weight. Um, so they're not like Lord of the Rings elves. They're like not like that kind of fat, <laughs> fat Jewish New Yorker looking elf that they had in the one scene. I was really That's confused. Exactly like, what I was yeah, I was like, you know, I'm sure you're a good actor, but you know, you're not really elvish. You know, I, I, I I'll never yeah. be able to watch Lord of the Rings the same way now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fat Jewish elf. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he definitely looks like, and I was like, hey, you know, I, I love, I love some of the Jewish actors, like in the numbers thing, the old guy who's all wise and shit, but. That guy just didn't fucking do it yeah. for me and learn it. Everybody else is like, I'm anorexic as shit. That's more Elvish to me. Yeah, you know, that guy to... clearly was like a nephew of whoever was doing casting. Yeah, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't. I I mean, I'm a fat bastard. I really can't talk. But that guy didn't miss too many meals, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, so it's not going to be a matter of plastic surgery. All right. Well, we'll keep thinking. We've got some ideas, but so far nothing really uh, works. But believe me, it's top of mind. We're we're gonna find you a good location. Yeah. I mean, I I'm I'm personally okay with being an elf, but you know, I, I I'm not I'm less okay with you know being the killed elf. Mm -hmm. Plus, of course, my sister, my uh, niece and nephew that she had. Uh, you know, we, we've got a whole family thing going here, but, uh, you know, uh, plus with those guys, there's, uh, a lot of, a lot of people did not pick human when they started doing their thing. And so you've got like cat people and, um, uh, the goblins. Uh, goblins and those <clears throat> gnomes and hobbits and just weird shit. That, Speaking you know. of which, uh, Janet, the librarian, mm. I think she was either a goblin or a gnome. Yeah, a goblin. A lot of research, real smart one. Is oh, she yeah. still around? Yes, although they mostly, she has to kind of work a lot behind the scenes. Uh, her biggest hope is that someday the library, which is still rolled up in Dad's room and has been long enough that we have to fucking try to dust it now and then, um is set back up but with magic fleeing the lands it's just not worth setting up especially if magic continues going away mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah she I... she misses the shit out of that library because it was it was too big to even take all the books out of but the problem is that mm -hmm. nothing seemed to be filed in logical order so you know it's we we have some of the books like but they just grabbed what they could when they were leaving and now we have books on like different kinds of bread Dwarven battle bread and stuff like that. It's very confusing. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Apparently, uh, with the right kind of scone, you can disembowel a foe from up to 20 meters away. I had no idea. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Anything else uh, new and exciting we should know? Well, other than a couple days ago, just uh, embassy, I was kind of worried that they blow part of it up. Not really. Is there anything you want me to get from the vault while I'm here? Because you know I have to go through a lot of shit to get there, and you know, of course, riddling games and fighting the Minotaur and all that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, 
I look at the other two. No, I'm good. I'm all good. Did Go you ahead. ask him when the letter was came in from Hornsby? No, I didn't. Oh. You know when this letter, uh, a letter from Hornsby came in? Just the other day, uh, after those guys had gone, it arrived. So, thought I'd leave it on the table. Somebody will take care of it, or not. <laughs> hey, Who's the person that uh, delivered the letter? Ah, uh, uh, it was uh, some trader guy coming through. He was uh, uh, selling pots. Gave him a dollar. He said it was two dollars. I kicked him in the nuts, and he went on his way. <laughs> I was sent to him letter. Uh, also, um, yeah, uh, we the map itself was encoded, so we decoded the map and then drew that out for you because. Uh, oh, you drew out the map. Oh well, I didn't. We, the people, the the uh, non-adventuring doors have like coders and stuff like they they use their own codes and stuff like that. I know that they don't discuss it, but they've got their own codes and things that they use. Guys, you know they're a little bit paranoid. All right, um, let me just double check something here. Okay. No, I think we're good. Always a pleasure. He stands up, shakes hands all around, and fucks off. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's take a little walk. Where would you like to walk to? <clears throat> We are going to go to the bank, and while we're going, let's keep an eye out for anyone tailing us. No worries. Uh, counter surveillance rolls from everybody, as you have announced it to them, rather than just being paranoid and going, hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, uh, you guys head through. It's a very much an old west town where all the buildings have the facades on them and the wooden sidewalks and the very distinctive chunk of chunk of chunk of horses hooked up to wagons it's a really super distinctive sound that you guys have heard an awful lot uh, people are like hello australians hello all the people with different animal heads wandering by they they seem very friendly uh to you guys not quite like hey i'd like to introduce you to my daughter type friendly but pretty goddamn friendly yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, Suede, uh, one of them stops and gives you a pie and asks that you bring it uh, to that nice uh, embassy people or eat it yourself. She's happy with you guys. Well, thank it smells you. like apple. She hurries off blushing. Cool. <laughs> it's still warm. It is. <laughs> it's, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Take a car <laughs> Oh, it's just like warm apple pie. <laughs> it's horrible. Mm, I got something for the embassy already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can tell Vince hasn't watched this fucking movie. Anyway. No, no, you guys are making some sort of reference, and Old I'm like... Old people stuff. Old people stuff. Yeah, you guys reached the bank. Everything's fine there. Uh, if you haven't already paid your uh, season seven uh, 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 bank vault keep going or box keep going stuff, they recommend that you do so that yeah, you know. Last time. Yeah. 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 Beeskin is taken care of through seven. Yeah, and in that case, they give you guys each a calendar. <laughs> for being good customers and you know it's useless to you but the bank tries to keep you happy you know it's like here's your free calendar no problem you guys play with your bank boxes for a while
Also, what kind of weapons are you guys packing? I just have knives. That's about it. Are you, are you dressed up like multiple knives and stuff? Like I'm a porcupine. No. Um, I kind of picture it where you're kind of like wearing like a casual suit, but when you open it up, kind of like one of those drug traders or whatever. It's, you know. Okay. Got it. Three on each side. Do you do you have good uh, concealment holdout camouflage skill? Yes, I do. Okay. No need to roll it now, but uh, if if uh, anybody's trying to figure out if you're armed. Actually, no, go ahead and give me a roll on it. I'm curious to see how well you do in this. Holy <laughs> crap. No problem. Everybody knows that you're fucking hiding knives and shit. Little kids are like, oh, look, he's got knives. He just forgot to wear his overcoat. <laughs> it's, it's, you, you put it on inside out. What were you thinking? Um, let's see. Uh, Ralph, what kind of weapons are you packing? I'm actually stashing my stuff here in the embassy for now. So nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm. Oh, you're wearing a 45? No, I'm putting the 45 away. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say lots of people are armed wandering around because this is a. Somebody dropped out mm -hmm. roll 20. This is a, uh, a colony I did. town. I did. Okay. Yeah, uh, with me, I just have a, like a wood carving knife and a sheath on my belt. And then in my backpack, um, in little holsters, I've got an 1800. Um, a Beeskin revolver with five rounds in it. Um, and then I have a um, modern day uh, 45 caliber pistol, but I'm not wearing them or anything. Got it. The Beeskin uh, uh, revolver is huge, heavy, and everybody hates them. The modern day revolver is a little box of happy gun bullet throwing thing. Yes. And okay, so just grabbing some money here. Let's see. Grab some Shermer money, because that's where we're going to hit next. Grab some gold for Gothic. All right. Good to go. Yeah, I'm going to grab a. Yeah, I've got Shermer money here, too. I should probably take a little bit, unless you're going to just fence off some stuff there. I would like to point out one of the funniest things that's going on with other groups is they'll discover they need some money or resources in a different uh, uh, dimension. And so they'll take just barely enough to do whatever it is they want to do there and often realize it's not quite enough and go back and get more and they end up spending most of the session just trying to do that as opposed to we're going to get lots of resources for this place and store it they don't this is a foreign concept and it is tragic but you've got bank accounts there too don't you mm -hmm. yeah i've i've got mm -hmm. some money there but I think we're going to need a little bit more because we're going to go shopping, get geared up, get some supplies that uh, we're going to need uh, going forward. Hmm. Oh, you do. You do no, did notice when you're walking through town that uh, uh, some people were arguing uh, with each other about the price of chickens. Apparently, this has become a hotly contested thing. Yeah, this is where they buy their chickens to take over to Gary, apparently. I didn't think they were buying that many to be driving the prices up. That's part of the argument, uh, because apparently the driven up prices are just for Australians. <laughs> <laughs> who are willing to pay them. Oh, you'll like this, Jack. They were taking chickens over there and they thought they were eating them. It turns out they're not eating them. They're keeping them as pets. Mm. So we don't even know if those people in Benguri uh, want to eat outside food. They eat some kind of uh, goo over there, fortified with vitamins and minerals. Mm. But yeah, I've never been there, so we'll worry about that another time. Yep. I can't wait till you go. <laughs> so many. I like that there's more places. And people want to go to. <laughs> All right, 
so we've got what we need here. Um, we will head back to the embassy explosion room. No problem. You guys get Let's there. See. Well, do we want to it smells go like apple pie in here now? Chicago, or should we just take the cleanse to St. Louis? We can climb it to your train. Fly. Are you still carrying around the apple pie, by the way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to drop that off there? I'm just kind of realigning the crust and fixing it. And... <laughs> <laughs> Got a little messy in the mold, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you can just tell the ambassador you ate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's take the uh, Clems to St. Louis just so we can check on things there. All right. Yeah, I go ahead and drop off the crust. Or the I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the crust. 